Hello, let's quickly solve for the value of A and B. They are natural numbers, okay? All right. Now, let's continue by uh, factorizing this. So let's do that and see what we have. This is 603. Okay, 6 plus 3 will give us 9. So that means that 3 can divide this. So when 3 divides 6, we have 2. If we divide 0, we have 0. If it divides 3, we have 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. That means 3 can still divide. So when 3 divides 20, we are going to have 6, 6 remainder 2, right? If we divide 21, we have 7. That means we can write square root of 603 as 3 times 3 multiplied by 67. Okay? So that is why I will now rewrite this our question as square root of A plus square root of B is equal to square root of 9 because 3 times 3 is 9, right? Multiplied by 67. Okay. Now we have that square root of A plus square root of B is equal to square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 67. So we go ahead to have that square root of A plus square root of B is equal to 3 multiplied by 67. Now I want to have a whole number here. So let me divide through by square root of 67, okay? So this is 7, this is 6, 7. So we are going to have square root of A divided by square root of 67 plus square root of B divided by square root of 67 is equal to this divided by square root of 67. Now this is going to divide this. So we have square root of, according to the law of um, sword. Yes, sword states that when you have a over b that is square root of a divided by square root of b that you can write this as square root of a over b okay so i'm going to apply that here so i'll now combine this a and 67 so it's going to be a divided by 67 plus square root of what b divided by 67 is equal to what three okay now, I want us to look closely to what we have on the board. We have this plus this is equal to 3. And since 3 is a positive integer, it simply means that this and this, both of them have to be what? They have to be nothing but perfect squares. All right? So it simply means that A over 67 is a perfect square and B over 67 is a perfect square square so that means we can write that a over 67 we can call it anything okay is equal to x squared and we can say that b over 67 is equal to y squared let me write it here then b over 67 is equal to y squared now from here if we make a the subject of the formula if we cross multiply so a times 1 will give us a so it simply means that a is 67x squared, right? 67x squared. Similarly, b is equal to 67y squared. Now, if we want to rewrite this based on these things that we just wrote, we can simply write that square root of x squared, since we said let this be equal to x squared, plus square root of y squared, right? Since b over 67 is y squared, is equal to 3. Now, this we cancel this, we have x, plus this we cancel this, we have y, is equal to 3. Now, I hope you have given us a thumbs up yet, and then subscribe to the channel. If this is the first time you're coming across this page, please. This is because I don't want you to miss our lessons, alright? Do that so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Thank you. Now, x and y are positive integers, of course. So, if they are positive integers, that simply means that there are so many, there are three cases here, or four cases. Case one is when x is equal to zero and y is equal to what? Three. The second, because zero plus three will give us three. Now, the second case is when x is equal to three and y is equal to zero. Now, the third case is when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. And the fourth case is when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So these are the four cases that we will experience here. Okay? Alright. 
Now let's start from case one. For case one, we said our x is equal to zero and our y is equal to three. Therefore, we can write a. Let me write that is case one where we have zero comma three. Okay. Now recall that a is equal to sixty-seven multiplied by x squared. So this simply means that a is equal to 67 multiplied by 0 squared, right? So we can write that a is equal to what? 0. Okay, now for case 1 also, b is equal to 67 multiplied by y squared. So this simply implies that b is equal to 67 multiplied by 3 squared. Now we're going to have that b is equal to 67 multiplied by 9 which will give us, now 9 times 7 will give us 63, right? So we write 3 and carry 6. Now 9 times 6 will give us um, 54. And 54 plus 6 will give us um, 60. So we have 603. That is the first case. Now case 2. Case 2 whereby we have what? Uh, 3 comma zero that is our x is three y our y is zero it's just going to be the result is going to be the inter if we interchange the value of our a and b right that means for case two our a becomes 603 and our b becomes zero right okay now let's go to case three for case three recall that a is 67 x squared now for case three our a is um, our x is one and our y is two. So we are going to have one comma two. So that means that our a is equal to sixty-seven multiplied by one squared. Okay. So that means our a here will be equal to sixty-seven. Now similarly, our b is equal to sixty-seven multiplied by y squared. I hope you are still seeing this. So this implies that b b is equal to 67 multiplied by our y is 2 so it's going to be 2 squared okay please permit me to clean here don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this okay just in case you are unable to see this line i will write so we are on case 3 and we wrote that b is equal to 67 y squared right now for case 3 our b is equal to 67 multiplied by our y is what 2 multiplied by 2 squared so we have that b is equal to 67 multiplied by 4 this implies that b is equal to now 4 times 7 is 28 we write 8 and carry 2 4 times 6 is 24 plus 2 is 26 so we're going to have 2 6 8 and that is it for case 3 now for case 4, where we said let our x now will be 2 and our y will be 1, right? So that means that we are going to interchange the values of our a and b, just like we did here. So if you solve it, you are going to get that your a will be the value of b for case 3. That means our a will be 2, 6, 8 and our b will be what? 60. Okay, what do we get our A here? Okay, our B will be equal to 67. And these are the various values of our A and B. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.